Hi, today I want to talk about downloading WordPress and installing it on a one at one hosting account. Okay, um, this is pretty much a procedure to install it on any hosting account. We're going to go through creating a MySQL database and um, uploading the script onto the server via FTP and basically getting the site up and running. Okay. And go to wordpress.org. Okay. Okay. What I have it here wordpress.org. And download the latest version of WordPress. This version is WordPress 2.7.1. It's always good to um, be updated with the latest version to uh, prevent hackers from inputting weird code onto your site okay so we're gonna go ahead and download this okay save file okay the next thing we do so we're gonna locate the file this should have saved onto the desktop okay it's right here and we're going to go ahead and extract the file right so this is just a zip file that could extract uh, different ways depending if you have winzip or microsoft xp itself comes with its own file extractor i'm using winrar which is another free extractor okay i'm going to extract to wordpress right and this is the file that was extracted. Okay. Go into the file. This is pretty much the WordPress application, right? That we're going to upload to our web server. Okay, so in order to upload anything onto your web server, you first have to download an FTP program, right? I like using FileZilla, right? One because it's free and it's um, and it does a pretty good job. Okay, you can go ahead and Google FileZilla right, and download their latest version. Okay. Once you have your FTP open, you have to go to um, the site via the FTP. So I go to File Site Manager. I locate the file. I'm sorry. I locate the the server I want to log into. Right, press Connect. I have to saw prefilled. And I locate the folder that I want to upload my WordPress into. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and Upload it onto Fix. Okay. So I'm in the Fix folder, which is in the root directory. Alrighty. Okay. So what I want to do is go ahead and highlight all these files here. Alright. This could be done by either clicking one corner of the screen and dragging it down or by, by clicking control a and then dragging it onto this screen right here okay okay so now i'm uploading the wordpress application onto the server okay this may take a few minutes but while this is going we're going to go ahead and log into our one at one account and set up the MySQL database. Okay, I'm going to open up another browser. Okay, let go to your one at one control panel. Again, all web servers have some sort of control panel to create and manage MySQL databases. Okay, log in.
Okay, again with the with the one at one screen, you're going to scroll down till you see where it says MySQL administration. You're going to click on that. Okay. Here it's going to show you all the databases you've created before. Okay, so while we're doing all this, the WordPress application is still uploading. Okay, so what what we want to do is create a new database. Okay, you could also use an existing database, um, but um, yeah, but we're just going to go ahead and create a new one. Okay, so we click here where it says new database. Okay. Now here we can just give it a description. This is this isn't really going to affect any part of the database. It's just so you know um, what the database is without having to go into it. All right. So let's just call it fix. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. Here you can either pick MySQL 4.0 or MySQL 5.0. Um, they both work fine with WordPress. Well, 4.0 and click setup. Okay. The database has been created uh, the way one at one does it, it goes ahead and it creates a password for you too. Okay, but um, the password could also be changed later on in case, um, in case you want to. Some other web hosts such as um, GoDaddy or iPower allows you to create your own username and password, but for security reasons, one at one creates the initial password for you. Okay, so what we want to do is copy this info here and paste it onto a notepad. Okay, we're just going to minimize.